It's Julie. Thanks for joining me today for a creative retreat Bible journaling process. I am using the October Faith Art Box and we are going to have a wonderful time journaling in Proverbs chapter 11 verse 28 where it says, Whoever trusts in his riches will fall, but the righteous will flourish like a green leaf. This verse just reminded me, talking about fall in a leaf, of autumn and so I wanted to go with an autumn theme and this October Faith Art Box really has an autumn theme. It's beautiful. You can see the contents over on the right and the colors and so what I'm doing here is I have masked off this verse just with some washi tape and now I'm sponging it with the Creative Retreat chalk ink pad in quiet yellow and now I'm going to go back over it with the cloudy coral. It is amazing how the colors of the Creative Retreat chalk ink pads match this kit so well. And as a matter of fact, I'll show you in a few moments, I was able to recreate the page that went with the devotional so that I could use that print. So I've pulled off the washi tape and it, you just see there how it makes that verse pop out and just stand out. And even though it wasn't any lighter or brighter than it, it was before, it really looks like it now because of that masking and then sponging around it. And that gives it a, a just a beautiful effect. So what I'm going to do now over in the margin is we're going to stamp some of these leaves, trying to kind of recreate the same pattern that's over on the right on that cardstock that I recreated with the multi-tones. But what I'm doing is I'm stamping off first. So I'm getting a second impression except on some of the outside margins like in the top and and right there at the bottom over there by the verse I want the direct the first impression but here in the margin where I'm going to be doing my journaling I just want the second impression a lighter impression uh, it's actually called in stamping terms the second generation stamping it's much lighter and you don't get it as dark so that's why I'm stamping off the ink on the side first on the cardstock and you just get it a much lighter on the actual page but you do see I do have a few of the darker ones now what I've done is I found some cardstock with the colors that match very nicely this actually came from Hobby Lobby and it is a Miss Sparkle and Company and I will make sure to link that and I'm gonna make a little um, kind of a a tip in a mini booklet so I'm using a punch right now and I folded it in half and what you want to do is don't punch it all the way out you fold it and then you leave a little bit open you see where that margin is that allows for it to still fold and be a book now save this because we're going to use this extra part in just a moment but see how that still is a little book and these colors see how they just match beautifully so this is what I recreated. This was the devotional, and each kit now comes with a devotional, and that's wonderful. That's a, just a wonderful, wonderful thing to help you in your Bible journaling. So I'm going to cut out from this cardstock that I used, and I used all four of the Creative Retreat colors of the chalk ink pads to do this stamping. And those, again, the colors just match beautifully, and... I'm going to use this on the top of that little booklet. And I'm going to sponge around the edges just to give it a finished, soft look. And I'm using the sponge and the cloudy coral um, color. And I'm also going to do the same thing on the edge of my page. And you just want to pick up kind of a handful, just a small handful. That one page is bothering me. It's kind of getting in the way. So I'm. you, you want to hold a few pages. You need something... You need a good solid um, handful to be able to work with, but um, you do need to be able to work with it. And sometimes some of your chunky pages get in the way. So that's what I'm struggling with right here. Sometimes when your Bible gets too chunky, it becomes difficult to work with. But you see that finished sponged look. It's just beautiful the way it looks. It gives a finished look and it's soft and it's, it's just gorgeous. So I'm adhering this 
top piece to the little booklet. And I'm going to do my journaling in this little book. And this is something I can pull in and out, so it's not covering the actual text. But I can pull it in and out. I can actually put it on the other side of the page. I'm just going to use a, uh, one of our paper clips to put it in. And I'm using, um, again, that sponging technique on the tab. And I cut that out from that cardstock that I made, the stamped cardstock. And I'm going to set that aside now. I'm going to go ahead and start doing my words and my lettering. So I'm going to use a mixture of stamped words and the word Fetty from the sticker sheet. Some of our stickers and the colors here, it's a mixture of um, sage and mint and kind of an olive green and this cloudy coral and this mustardy yellow and a gray and then a dark gray. It's it's so dark, it's kind of a navy. As a matter of fact, some of us on the team were saying, is it navy, is it gray? We couldn't quite be sure. But it doesn't matter because it's just, it's a gorgeous color. And the thing is that you can just mix and match these colors. The colors that I've gone with here are the primarily the red, the green, and the gray, although I do get in a few of the other colors here. So I'm gonna stamp um, Savior, Take my heart in your hands. I place my fears at your feet. You'll see me mess with that over the next few moments. The theme for my page here is trust. And I'm going to share the story that goes along with this. It's about a story that um, deals with my son who's away at college. And I'll share more of that over at the blog. So be sure you go read that on the Creative Retreat blog. And I will write that story in the little booklet there, the little tip-in booklet. But it's, it's about trusting God and trusting the Lord with, um, in this case, my son. And so what I'm talking about here is just, Lord, take my heart in your hands and then I place my fears at your feet. I can be afraid, I can be worried, but I want to put my heart in his hands. So that's what I'm talking about. That's what this verse and what this page is all about. Now, I, I started by saying, and take my fears, and that just didn't work. So I changed it to, I place my fears. And I'm able to use these little alpha tiles. I am loving these alpha tiles because you can do so many things with them. Now, notice here that I kind of work backwards on the word your, and that helps with the placement, especially when you're working with margins and, and um, borders and things like that. And I'm alternating the letters here as I put trust, the word trust, and then him, trust him. So you can see I've used a variety of the colors, a variety of the styles. I love that about the Creative Retreat kits. And you can mix and match even with some of the previous kits. Some of the colors are just continuous and, and a constant between the different kits. And they always have these wonky hearts, which is just fun. It's kind of the signature piece. And you can use these hearts in so many places and in so many ways. And I just love to use these as an embellishment. So I've finished my lettering. And now I'm just going to do a little bit of outlining here. I put the word trust on my tabby. And I'm going to put that up at the top. And um, I found some washi tape. This also is Miss Sparkle and Company from Hobby Lobby. And you can see how it matches that cardstock. So this washi tape and this cardstock is just, it's wonderful how it matches. And I'm using one of the beautiful ribbon pins, the clips from the Creative Retreat kit, the Faith Art Box. So it's got a gray ribbon to it. You can see me doing the journaling here. And again, I'll share more of that story over on the blog and just kind of the story, the heart behind the art of this page here. I'm just doing a little bit of a finishing touches here and there, um, adding some washi tape. I do want to go in and give some splatter effect. So uh, this is just a fun page where it's easy. It really wasn't difficult. That's all it was, is just putting some stickers on and some sponging, a little bit of stamping. And it's just putting down what God placed upon my heart. 
So that's what you can do with these Creative Retreat Faith Art Boxes. Make sure to visit the blog so, again, you can read the story and um, you can get your hands on this kit. You don't want to miss it. Also, be sure to check out the chalk ink pads because they are wonderful. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment, like the video, and come back and join us. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Thank you.